I'm back. <laughs> I've been gone for about a month now. I went to Thailand for the month of February and we had such a great time. It was a pretty amazing trip. We went to seven different places, different islands. It was just a blast. It was very relaxing. Hit some great beaches with crystal clear water. But I am back with a vengeance. I have already been to two different estate sales picking stuff up to list because my inventory is running really low. So I am super excited that garage sales are right around the corner and just start going to estate sales again. So if you haven't been to my channel before, I am Terry Mindful Recycle and I am going to do a what sold video on some of my favorite things that sold while I was gone in Thailand. I only have a few things that I can show you because everything has been shipped out. My son was running the business while I was gone and he was shipping every single day. So <laughs> he's way better at I would ship every other day or so. So anyway, this sold, I paid $14 for this. It's department 56 and it sold for $90 plus shipping. As you know, if you follow me that I never pay for shipping. Okay. So these Yu-Gi-Oh cards, they are movie cards. If you saw my last video, I think it was in my last one or the one before that I purchased these about a year ago. I just had no traction on them at all. And I think I sold a couple sets of four. So as soon as I would sell a set of four, I would list four more because I have quite a few sets. And then months and months went by and then I sold another one. So they just weren't doing that well. I was thinking of lotting them all together and just getting my money back. But all of a sudden, <laughs> I started selling, I think I've sold about seven or eight groups of four. And then I just did a listing. I counted how many I had and did a quantity. And I think I had 14 sets of four and somebody just purchased seven sets of four for $150. So now I'm finally in the profit. So I still have seven sets left and I believe I paid $200 for all of these. I think by the time I'm done, I would have sold them all for close to $500. These avatar books I bought at a garage sale, both of them for a dollar and they just sold for $20. I have about $2 into these Gumby and Pokey puffy stickers. If you find puffy stickers, pick them up. They're usually worth a lot of money or the scratch and stiff ones, if they're vintage. These just, the comps just weren't that high on these. So they are getting Gumby and Pokey um, stickers, and then the puffy ones are getting three sets of these. And I sold them for $15. I have sold Patience Brewster ornaments before. They're made by Department 56, but I haven't sold any in a very long time. But when I saw this one at an estate sale, I thought it looked a little familiar that maybe I had sold it before. There was no markings on it at all. So I did a Google lens search and found out that it was Patience Brewster. I only paid $1.50 for it because it was the last day of the estate sale and it sold for $40. So keep your eyes open for these Patience Brewster. They do really well and they sell quickly. I picked up these vintage erasers for $2 at an estate sale and they sold for $30. So don't pass up old pencils and old erasers. I love this little Holly hobby. I found it at an estate sale and I paid $5 for it. And it sold for $42. So the figures on it have cardboard that can stand up um, for the people. But then there's also um, like color forms that stick on the structure and it's an old general store. So it's very cute. So always keep your eyes out for Holly Hobby. It usually does really well. I sold this wedding Barbie. I paid $10 for it and it sold for $40. I had purchased a whole bunch from somebody at about five to $10 each one. I've sold quite a few of Frank Baum books and somebody reached out and offered me 90 and I took it. 
So the summer before last, when our community was having our annual garage sale, I picked up a whole bunch of Star Trek stuff. And a lot of it was books. I got these three books. They were signed by one of the actors in Star Trek. And they were personalized though, because it said to Scott. I have probably less than a dollar into each book and they sold for $150 for all three of them. And the person that bought them, their name is Scott also. So I thought that was kind of cool because it can be personalized to them now. So I purchased last summer a whole bunch of doll wigs and a bunch of doll shoes. I finally got around to listing the doll shoes, lotted them all up and just got them listed. If you ever see this kind of jacket, pick it up. It's a micro pack and it usually will not have a tag on the collar because most of them are reversible and you will find the tag inside the pocket. The way you will identify this jacket is it always has an accordion hood on them. So you're looking down the row of jackets at a thrift store, you will see that accordion hood sticking out. Anyway, these jackets can bring some really good money. This one I paid $15 for and I sold it for $90. I have had this Lionel train for a couple years now. I was waiting for just the right buyer and it ended up selling for $265 and I paid $30 for it. So sometimes just being patient and waiting for the right buyer will get you the price that you have it listed for. This Childcraft book set, I got at a garage sale and I paid $5 for it and it sold for $70. So look out for these. They're not super fast movers, but they do sell. I'm trying to get into more ephemera because it could be worth some really big money and it doesn't take up much space in your store. So I did pick these up quite a while ago and finally got them listed probably about six months ago and they've just been sitting there. They are military posters, small posters. And it's a lot of eight. I paid $12 for it, but it did end up selling for $68. And these were even damaged at the top. I disclosed all of that and did some real close up pictures. I purchased this at that uh, Star Wars hoarder sale that I went to. I paid $8 for this one and this sold for $60. So this is the second American Girl doll that I have sold. I bought them both at an estate sale at the same time. I paid $20 each for them. And this one sold for $179. Always keep your eyes open for vintage fountain pens. I went to an estate sale and bought a whole box of them for a dollar and I've sold one pen out of it. I think it was for $350 and then listed this other one and it also sold for $350. So I have sold two pens for $700 and I still have this many more left to list. These are not as desirable as the first two that I sold, but these will still bring excellent money. I got this little ET binder, vintage binder, at an estate sale for a dollar and it sold for $37. Michael Aram Coasters, I'm not sure what else that company makes, but these coasters can go for some really good money. I paid $2 for this set on the last day of an estate sale because they were originally $4. And this set sold for $50 and I've only had them listed for a couple of months. Look at this really cool dragon. It's, I think they're called like plasma. When you put your hand on the ball, the little, looks like lightning bolts shoot toward your hand. I picked this up at a church sale that they were having outdoors during the summer last summer. And I only paid $3 for it. And somebody reached out and asked if I would take a hundred because I had it listed for 125 and I took a hundred dollars. So this was a really great profit. And I have had this jewelry box for at least a couple of years. I've never bought a wooden jewelry box like this. I see them all the time at estate sales, so I will keep my eyes open. I'm not sure if this one was just a little bit more special because it was made in Japan, but I paid $10 for it. 
and I sold it for $49. I purchased this um, dollhouse items there for Jenny doll which is a vintage doll and for all these items I paid $17 I've had them listed for a couple months maybe three months and they all sold for $67 so keep your eyes open for Jenny doll Vogue items and the dolls and look them up because a lot of those Jenny Vogue dolls aren't worth anything so definitely do a look up before you purchase it here is a doll. It's a Nikki Diva Stars doll that I paid $4 for and I ended up selling it for $70. I sold another Barbie outfit vintage from the 60s or 70s. I have about $3 into this and it sold for $25. This Imaginex lot is one of the many lots that I had. I split it up into about seven different lots and I think I only have a couple more left now. They were so bulky and they are very slow at selling. So I would definitely think twice about picking those up again, unless they were new in box. But they have been selling and they have been selling for a decent price. I think I paid 50 or $60 for the, all of them. And I think the first lot I sold, I sold for more than $60. This lot sold for 45. Here is a bunny Radco ornament. I purchased a whole bunch of ornaments from an estate sale and they've been selling really nicely. I paid an average price of $5.15 for each one and this one sold for $47. And then for my last item, it is also a Radco. This one I think was one of the top highest sellers of all of them that I had purchased. Also paid $5.15 for this one, and it sold for $175.50. I had one other one, I think that sold for a couple hundred dollars, and then all the others were selling between $30 and $60. So keep your eyes open for Radco. Look at the top of the little metal ring, and it will say Radco. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching. I can't wait to get out more videos. I know it's been a long time since I put one out. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you want to be notified on my next video, just hit that bell and it'll notify you. And I will see you on the next video.